Well, since the start of the new year, we've reported several racial incidents taking place in different school districts across the tri-state. Among all these issues, we wanted to know if there might be some steps to a potential solution. The Now's Brianna Harper shows us a new idea now in the works. At Walnut Hills High School, diversity fills the hallways. Students from different races, cultures, and backgrounds all sharing the same space. Someone can be different, um, but when it's all said and done, they're just like you. That's the exact message Walnut Hills head basketball coach Ricardo Hill wants to spread on and off the court through forming a coaches alliance. Our goal is to bring everyone together and just get to know one another. Coaches, teachers, professors from the University of Cincinnati and Xavier University all participating in a series of seminars to learn more about diversity, sensitivity, and accepting different cultures. It's a standard now that you can be blatant with, with racism or discrimination. And we just want to, it's another side that's a lovable side that we want to bring out. But we have seen the flip side, like these racially offensive basketball jerseys worn by King's local students as part of a recreational basketball league. Ultimately, the team was banished for the season and a King's school board member even resigned. Although there has to be accountability in schools, uh, we have to recognize that, that civility, respect, fairness, that these are things that we have to really apply a more strategic approach to. And in the case of the Mason Middle School teacher accused of telling an African-American student his classmates may lynch him, the district placed her on administrative leave. As teachers, um, as administrators, as coaches, um, to mentor our kids and, and you know, filter that um, positive, lovable um, kindness and, and bring that out of everyone. But you have a bell curve of educators and others who are sort of, uh, that don't care as, as much or may have implicit or unconscious biases that they're not even aware of. The goal of this new Coaches Alliance is to bring these two sides together for a more positive outcome with the focus on the students. It can be something that's truly um, a blessing to everyone. The plan is to officially start the Coaches Alliance after the end of this basketball season. Brianna Harper, The Now, Cincinnati.